Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. Guys, this is a new video tutorial on JavaFX. So he, here in this tutorial, I will tell you how to implement context menu in your JavaFX application. First, I will tell you about the context menu uh, with the help of this example that I have created in my NetBeans ID. So guys, let's get started. And uh, uh, guys, I have a request. If you think this video is useful for you, so please like this video and share with your friends as well. And guys, if you want such more useful videos on my channel, so guys, please subscribe my channel and press this notification bell icon so you will get the latest video updates ASAP. And uh, here is the project. Uh, in the left menu, you can see we have a simple JavaFX application and we have simple three files. So I'm going to run this example and I will tell you what is context menu here and how it is useful for you. Okay, guys, this is the stage and uh, uh, this is simple. This is a text field where you do a right click. So you will see this uh, 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 menu uh, will appear and uh, you uh, we can see this, there we have three items. So if you click any one of them, so uh, one action will trigger and uh, we can perform uh, any action on the click of uh, any one of item. So here in this example, I am uh, simply uh, printing a console message and uh, uh, you if we want we can uh, put our code and perform uh, any relevant action uh, for that menu item so here all these three item is uh, item is associated with uh, action handler so every time you will click any one of them so you will see a message on the console Okay, guys, also uh, the Windows event also handled. So every time when you do a right click, you can see the blue color uh, label is changing and, and it is saying context menu is showing. That means uh, when the uh, context menu will appear, so label value is changing. And uh, when it is disappearing, so the context, uh, so here the label value is changing and saying, saying the menu item is hidden now. So we have handled these two things. So first, I will show you the FXML, what we have on the FXML, and then we will see the F controller code. Okay. So this is our FXML open in uh, scene builder. So here, this is simple for the design purpose. I have uh, used the pen, nothing uh, complex thing. And uh, here we have a one text field. This is useful. So we will associate our context menu with this text field. So I have given uh, FX ID to this one. Also, I am using one label uh, to uh, dis uh, display some message on it. So uh, I have assigned a FX ID as well to this label. Okay, guys, this is simple. And uh, we are using only two things here on the FX unit. Okay, so I'm going to minimize it. Now we are going inside the fxml document, document controller.java file. So here I will explain everything. Okay, this is our controller class. And you can see uh, we have one label. So we are going to use the uh, uh, reference of that object here in the controller. So we have to declare this label. So this label, this is the green color text. This is the fx ID that we have given in the fxml. Okay. And uh, for the text field, we have declared one object. And for the pen, okay, I think uh, this is not useful in this example. And uh, uh, this uh, this another method which is not useful because uh, one, first time we have created the uh, this FXML, so by default we got this uh, action handler. So I have removed this, uh, not uh, relevant for this example now coming inside the initialize method. The very first uh, important thing is uh, we have to create the context menu class object. Okay, this is simple. You have to use the context menu and with the help of new keyword, you can create the context menu object. Okay, after that, we have to create the menu item because we have to display item on the context menu okay so this is the way simply we will use the menu item class and we will create a menu item object 
So here in this example, I am using three menu items. So I have created the three menu items object one, two, and three. So guys, if you need a more items, so you can create the more object, and then we will add these item inside the context menu. Okay. So guys, we have done two things. First, we have created the context menu. Then we have created the menu item. Now we have to uh, uh, associate event handler with the menu item because you are going to click on this menu item and then uh, some particular action will need to perform. So here is the code to do that thing. So here we have uh, implemented the handle method of event handle class and we are passing this thing in the set on action method. So uh, we are associating the event handler with the first menu item. So this is the code. And uh, here in this example, so simply I have given a print statement that will print something on the console. This is only for demonstration purpose. You guys can uh, put your code and you can perform some relevant action on this menu item click action so in the similar way uh, we have associated the action handler for the rest of the two menu item menu item 2 and menu item 3 this is for the first menu item and this is for the menu item 2 and and here this is for menu item 3 and you guys have a more menu item so you will do in the same way for each menu item once we have done these three things uh, we will uh, come to the next and the last most important important thing okay so uh, you can see at line number 76 uh okay and 77 and 78 we have uh, uh adding our menu item inside the context menu so you can say that uh context menu is a parent and it has a child menu item one menu item two and menu item three and if you guys have more menu items so you have to add all those menu items inside the context menu and this is the selected uh code for the windows event uh, that means uh, we are handling the event uh, in which uh, if our uh, context menu is appearing then uh, some action will perform and if it is disappearing uh, so some action will perform so in some cases uh, we have to implement something on uh, suppose uh, at the time of displaying context menu so you have to perform some action or you have to check that it uh, menu item context menu item is displayed on the state so we can handle uh, in this way so this is simple we have created the event handler object and uh, we have implemented the handle method of that class okay and uh, here we have a uh, doing a single check uh, with the if condition context menu dot is showing that will return true uh, if uh, the context menu is in uh, this menu is in appearing state and uh, it will uh, return false if a uh, context menu is uh, disappeared. So we can handle the appearing and disappearing and we can decide and we can display something and we can perform some action on the basis of that. Uh, in the last, we have uh, to uh, pass the event object uh, in the set on showing method and set on hiding method uh, to associate with the context menu. So that context menu will let you let know about this method uh, and uh, the handler will uh, connect with the context menu okay uh, in the last uh, because we have to uh, show our context menu on the text field so guys uh, at line number 96 we have to write this small code uh, text field dot uh, set context menu okay we are calling this method and we have to pass the object of context so guys this was the complete thing and our context menu is associated with the text field now and uh, here i'm going to run this program so i will show you what we have done so far so 
here's the our stage and uh, this is my text field and uh, side by side i will uh, give you a hint what we have done and what is uh, doing on the stage so on the right click uh, menu item is appearing on text field so uh, so this is a useful thing we have uh, added three menu item in the context menu so that is appearing on the stage now you can see i am doing right click again and you can see one two and three these three menu item is appearing okay and uh, let me show you one more thing so uh, this is the code uh, for uh, handling the uh, window event that means the appearance of uh, uh, a menu uh, a menu item so as you do a right click and uh, you will see uh, the blue color uh, label will display some text that context menu is showing because uh, we are inside the if condition that means right now our our context menu is visible and once it is disappeared so else code will be executed because uh, this is uh, our event is associated with the uh, context menu right now okay and uh, this is the last line uh, it is uh, clear we have added uh, we associated our context menu with the text field okay let me do right click again and this is the uh, first menu item as you click on that and uh, the console uh, will dis, uh, will print some message because on the action handler method we have uh, simply put a single statement system dot or dot print ln let me show you you can see seven so this is menu item handle action so this method is handling the click action of menu item uh, is a uh, a very uh, simple so all this concept is very simple uh, i hope you guys uh, clear on this concept if, if you guys have any doubts please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible and guys uh, again uh, request if you found this video useful so guys please like and share with your friends as well and don't forget to subscribe cool it help and keep watching cool it help i will bring more useful videos till then bye bye